Do you stream on Twitch or Kick, but you also want to multi-stream to the new YouTube Shorts feature? Let me show you how you can multi-stream to YouTube Shorts using OBS Studio, and it's free. So if that sounds good to you, drop a quick like on this video so other people can find this video. Now let's quit the yapping and get on with it already. So the very first thing that we need to do is make sure that our OBS Studio is on the latest update. So we're going to go to the top where it says Help, and then simply click on the Check for Updates button and it's gonna let us know if there are any updates. So please install any updates if you have any available. But right now we are on the latest update, so that's okay. And then we're gonna close OBS Studio. Next, we'll use this free OBS plugin, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. It's called Atom. As soon as you get on this page, you're gonna see, oh, 499, 30 day trial, it's not free, Cody. That's fine, that's not what we're using. We're gonna scroll down until we see the Atom vertical plugin, which is free. So we're simply going to find that vertical plugin on the page and then click download. So we're gonna download this little free OBS plugin, give it a couple seconds to download here. Once you've downloaded it, we're gonna run the installation process. Normally you can just skip through with the next, 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 but if you're not able to find it in OBS in a minute or two, then you're gonna have to go back and find out where the heck you installed OBS Studio the first time around and make it changes there. But for majority of you guys, literally all you have to do is just hit next and then hit next again, hit install, and you're gonna be good to go after you hit finish. So we're gonna hit finish and open up OBS Studio. So for me, it automatically popped up, but however, if it didn't pop up for you, so we'll just X out this, 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 and this. This is what normal OBS looks like. This is probably what happened to a couple of you. So in order to fix that, we'll go up to the docs tab, and now you can see all these new docs. We have vertical scenes, so we'll open that, and that will bring us anywhere here pretty much, and you can drag it to the bottom wherever you want it. So these will be all of the scenes that are vertical style. We'll go to docs again, we'll do vertical sources. We can drag that one next to the scenes. It's basically like a copy of the regular sources and scenes, but the vertical versions now, because we'll be able to edit those. Then we'll hit the docs tab again. We can do vertical scene transitions if you want. Really, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it's okay. We'll go to docs one more time so we can get vertical and that's going to give us our vertical canvas that we can use to edit how our vertical YouTube short stream is going to look like. And by the way, you could also use this method for streaming to TikTok as well, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna focus on YouTube shorts. So now that we have our horizontal canvas here and our vertical canvas here, as well as our horizontal scenes and horizontal sources and our vertical scenes and vertical sources, now we can start doing a little bit of designing. So I simply deleted what I had in there before so we can all start together from scratch. So hopefully that'll make this experience a lot easier and smoother for you guys. So we'll start out simple. I'm just gonna add a new scene on the horizontal. We'll just call this one just chatting if I can spell correctly. And then we're going to add a new source. So I'm gonna add a camera source for a video capture device. So that's gonna be able to add a webcam. I'm gonna call this what the name of the webcam is. I'm gonna hit okay. You can call it whatever you want, by the way. So I'm gonna use the spare webcam I got here, hit okay. So now let's just say this is our just chatting scene and you can feel free to design it. You guys are smart enough to figure it out. And if you're not, then you should be binging my OBS studio playlist, which I'll leave in the top right corner up there. You can watch the rest of the videos after that. But let's just say we're just chatting with this camera. So now let's add a camera over in our vertical scene here. So we have a vertical scene. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to rename it to let's just say just chatting V for vertical. You can call it whatever you want, hit okay. Now we're gonna add a new vertical source and then video capture device. And I'm just gonna click on tiny two right there and that's going to add this here. And for whatever reason, you go to add a source in the vertical sources and it's like not popping up. Simply just close OBS Studio and reopen it. That happened to me earlier. I have no idea why that happens, but when I just refreshed OBS, it fixed it. So now that we have our webcam here, I can simply drag the corners to make it full screen. And if you have a pretty crappy webcam, then you're probably gonna have some distortion. Luckily, this webcam is really good. So I'm not gonna have much distortion at all. And if you guys wanna buy this webcam that I'm using here, then I'll leave all the webcams I used in the description down below. So if we were just chatting and you wanted just yourself on YouTube Shorts, then this would be a perfect scene to have for that. But I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be gaming. So we're gonna make a second scene as well, just so we can switch between just chatting and gaming. So I'm gonna add a new scene over on the horizontal side. We'll just call this one Gaming H for Gaming Horizontal. And then I'm gonna add a new vertical scene over here and we'll call this one Gaming V for, you know, well. 
Maybe not. So I'm going to hit OK. And then we have two new scenes. So very quickly, let's make a quick gameplay scene. I need to open up the game, so I'll be right back. So I've opened up one of my favorite games, Golf With Your Friends. So let's add that into OBS for both our YouTube Shorts vertical stream and our regular horizontal stream. So we're going to add a new source. We're going to most likely use a game capture. Unless that doesn't work, then we use a display capture or a window capture, whatever works for you. I'm just gonna call this golf hit okay so now we have a couple modes obviously if capture full screen application doesn't work we can do specific window and then window and then find the game like right there give it a second to load and then hit okay so now we have our gameplay there but we also need to add it in the vertical scene so this is where it gets a little tricky because we have all of this screen real estate but only this little real estate here so obviously we're not gonna you know turn it like 90 degree angle but what we can do is at least focus on the main gameplay. We can hit add a new vertical source. We're gonna do the same thing, game capture, and I'm just gonna put golf. And so now we have it here. I am going to move my webcam somewhere else that's more convenient for you guys. All right, I put it over here so you can see better. But what we're gonna do is really just try and get as much of the gameplay as we can and leave enough room for our webcam. I'm gonna leave it right about there. If you're worried about getting it centered, you can right click and then transform. And then what you wanna do is center to screen. And then if you want, you can just hold down the arrow keys and then you'll get it perfectly center if you're really anal about that, but that's okay. All right, that looks good to me. So now we wanna add a webcam, right? So we're gonna add a new source on the horizontal side, video capture device. I'm gonna add existing since we made one earlier for the just chatting scene. I'm gonna grab the corner to make it smaller. Let's just say right about here is good. And we're gonna do the same thing for the vertical source. So same vertical source, same camera. And we're going to want it on top of the golf. Otherwise, if we have golf on top, well, you know, it just doesn't look as nice. We're going to get my camera to how I want it, resize it. Let's say maybe right about here. I think that looks pretty okay. So we have our YouTube Shorts vertical stream here, and we have our horizontal stream to, you know, Twitch or Kick or whatever. Now we have our gameplay. Obviously, it's live, so it looks good. So now this is where the fun part comes in. So in order to access the vertical streaming settings, what we need to do is click this little cogwheel here, and then we're going to open it. And so now we see all of the vertical settings. So we have a couple different things here. So you can change your resolution if you want I'm gonna keep it the same as what I have for my normal stream settings because my normal stream settings work good for me and if you don't know what streaming settings you should be having then you can watch my best streaming settings video over on the playlist that I mentioned earlier but I'm going to change the audio bitrate to 320 so that gives us the best virtual camera honestly doesn't matter so I'm gonna leave it as is backtrack is essentially like the replay buffer but most of you guys won't be recording while doing this as well so to keep things extremely simple I'm just gonna focus on what you absolutely need so we're going to click on the streaming tab and now we're going to enable this if you haven't already you can put in a name like i did youtube shorts and then once you need the server and key information we have to open up a browser and open up our youtube channel so once you're on youtube you want to obviously log in and once you're logged in you're going to go to the top right corner and then hit go live with that little like plus camera button and then go live. If this is your first time doing YouTube short streaming or YouTube streaming in general, you likely have to verify your account and it takes about 24 hours. So sorry to hear that, but do that. And then you'll be able to get to this streaming dashboard page. Once you're here, you can simply hit on the edit button at the top and then you'll be able to edit the title. You'll be able to edit all of the metadata that you need to, including the thumbnail playlist and whatever else you want. And you'll be able to save it. And then you can click the customization and change more settings here if you would like to. So we're gonna hit cancel or save if you've made all the changes that you want. But if we look over here, we're on this page right and if you don't see this page simply just hit this little button right here it says stream and that'll bring you to your streaming page on YouTube but now we need to click on stream settings which is right here under the video preview and then you'll see that we have our stream key so you're gonna copy this so click the copy button and then you're gonna paste it in the stream key box which is this one right here so the one with the little dots so you're gonna post the key there and then you're gonna copy the one that says stream URL so this one hit copy and then you're gonna paste that for the server and then that's all you'll need to do in order to enable the YouTube short streaming to your YouTube channel through OBS. So then you can change your bitrate if you would like. And if you end up dropping frames and everything, then obviously you want to lower the bitrate either on your horizontal settings in the main OBS studio output settings, or you can lower it here. But depending on your internet speed, you might need to lower it because you're going to be streaming to two different locations, but everyone's situation is different. 
So you're gonna have to feel it out to your specific setup. But the box right before it is pretty handy. So it says start and stop streaming when main OBS starts and stops streaming. So if you're multi-streaming, like we're doing here for Twitch and YouTube Shorts, I would recommend enabling this because that way you don't have to worry about setting a hotkey to individually start your YouTube stream if you want. However, if you wanted to just start your Twitch or Kick stream and then later start the YouTube short stream, then you would disable this and then you would set a streaming hotkey by clicking in here and putting any key you want really to set the hotkey to start it and then stop it as well. So if you wanted to separate them, you would use the hotkey feature. But if you're lazy like me, and you're gonna multi-stream anyways, then just enable this box right here. And anytime you hit start streaming over here, it's automatically going to go live on both streaming destinations that you have set. But if we scroll down, I recommend just using the main OBS settings because you know you don't really need to change the different settings. So if you want to get complex with it, go for it. But I find that using the main OBS settings works perfectly for me. So just to keep things simple, I would recommend it to you as well. Then if you want, there's also the recording setup too, if you wanna record these videos here. But this is on streaming, so you can go and feel free to take a look at this if you want. But to keep things extra simple, we're gonna focus on streaming. And with that being said, all of the settings are set that we need. So we're simply going to hit OK. And then we're gonna go to the settings in the bottom right corner for main OBS. And then we're going to go to the stream tab. And we're going to make sure that this service is connected to whatever we wanna stream to, so in this case, Twitch. And then that just means when we hit start streaming here, we'll be streaming to Twitch. And since we had that other box checked, we'll also be streaming to YouTube Shorts at the same time. So if you've never streamed to Twitch or anything before, you've never done a stream through OBS, then you'll need to set up your output settings and your audio and your video settings, which I've covered in another video, which I'll leave in the top right corner. But most of you guys are watching this, you already know how to stream, so I won't go into that in this video. So once you're done with that, we'll hit OK. And now that we're ready for our YouTube Shorts multi-stream with Twitch or Kick or whatever, we're simply going to hit Start Streaming. So it's going to start streaming to Twitch and YouTube Shorts. So let's actually go over to both of those websites and check them out. So we'll start over on YouTube. We'll give it a couple seconds to load up. Right now you can see we're live. There's our YouTube Shorts preview. It looks good. If you're wondering if it looks kind of like crappy quality, you can hit this little cog wheel and then change the quality to whatever you are streaming at. So in this case, 1080, 60. Otherwise, I'm gonna pause it to save some bandwidth. And if you need to edit your title or anything, you'll simply hit this edit button over here and you'll be able to make any necessary changes. So then we can hit cancel. Let's go over to Twitch. And I just refreshed my Twitch stream. So now we are horizontally streaming on Twitch and vertically streaming over on YouTube Shorts. So now that we're multi-streaming on both of these, if we want to end the stream, we're simply gonna go back into OBS and hit stop streaming. And that's going to end both of the streams. It might take a couple seconds over on YouTube. Like obviously you can see it's going right here. So if that really bothers you, you can go and hit this little red end stream button, hit end, and that will end your YouTube short stream immediately. Though I'm pretty sure if you refresh, it would do the same thing. But if not, you have that fail safe right there. But now that you're streaming to YouTube Shorts and Twitch, you're probably wondering, well, how can I see both of the chats and that's a great question you can actually use a multi chat feature that we can drag into OBS studio in order to read all of the platforms chats that we're doing so kick twitch YouTube whatever and in order to set that up I'll leave the video right below me that you can check out it'll hold your hand step by step on how to set up the multi chat but my name's Cody and I will see you in the next one